people gave me shit. People gave me shit. In the chat the other day when I was talking about how uh, sniffing its own farts the Hideo Kojima documentary was, not Hideo, not his work. I got nothing against any of that. I'm a big fan of Hideo Kojima, but the documentary from the trailer made it look like a I'm in love with myself fucking movie, and now we've got reviews that are starting to come out. It's not that I'm going to die on the fucking Kojima hill. Jizzaloop says, who's the better creator, Kojima or Jaffe? Kojima. I'm not jealous of the man. I have no ill will for the man. I've met him once. He was really nice. I have nothing against Hideo Kojima. I'm talking about his image, right? Well, now that reviews are coming out, it's not just your Papa Jaffe. Uh, people who have watched the movie and says it's just, it's just so into itself. Uh, here's some quotes. He's a hard worker. He's a sleepless genius, uh, Resident Evil uh, Mikami says, who I love. Similarly, Guillermo del Toro and musician Grimes say repeatedly that he's a genius. Then, this is my favorite part, though. This is my favorite part. Uh, it says... Connecting Worlds has Kojima staring mirthlessly at things. This is what I noticed from the trailer. He stares at pink sunsets, steel parking garages, Joy Division records. He stares at his actors wearing intricate full body cap motion capture until they deliver the performance he wants. It's just, it's so, it's not just crap for clicks, Addy Pie. You gotta be, listen to this, you gotta be able to love things and still be critical. I don't know how old you are. Maybe it's a fucking uh, generational thing, but... Get over it. It's not jealousy. It's not, they're not jealous of Kojima. They're talking about the documentary. The, the, the closing statement says it all. I think it's heartless to look at a person and see only their output, not them. How terrified they insist themselves to be. But being a true fan requires denial. And it's true. And that doesn't mean Kojima will not go to his grave as the most, in, I don't think it will be the most, I think that will be Miyamoto, but one of the most influential video game creators that has ever lived? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you hear that? Kojima fans that are frothing in the chat, can you hear what I'm saying? I am a fan. But why can't I be a fan and still also say, there's some stuff about him that's pretty fucking annoying, in my opinion, without me being jealous, without me looking for clicks. Like, I mean, look at the, def it's like a religious person you're arguing with. Look at the defense that you have created, right? You have created a, an unassailable fortress where the only thing you will allow into your brain about the thing you love are positive things. Do you understand how that's dangerous? I only like documentaries when I really believe the subject. So if I could believe uh, the subject on a documentary about within games, um, who would be really interesting to really peel back and get the true story? Probably, I don't know, probably Neil Druckmann would interest me to see that because he's clearly a talented guy. He's clearly had a lot of success. Um, but I also think... There, there's something about the kind of work he makes that I don't understand why he's not making movies. And I would want to really get to the bottom of that because he clearly has the connections now. He, he has enough of the talent. I thought the episode he directed of uh, Last of Us was great. And I don't think he's a great game designer. Um, I don't think he's bad, but I, I, don't, I don't think that, you know, I don't think the fact that The Last of Us is interactive makes it better or worse, right? I don't play his games and go oh my God, this is Tears of the Kingdom level design. And I know he's not the main designer, but he's overseeing the whole thing. And so in that, you're like, okay, well, clearly his passion is linear narrative storytelling. Why don't you just go fucking do that? So that's the kind of stuff that I would want a real documentary on. And that's why I roll my eyes so hard when I'm having to listen to documentaries about you know, just 